We now present highlights from the hearing, featuring General Petraeus and Ambassador Crocker. Thank you for coming here today, General Petraeus, Mr. Ambassador. We all respect you and think that you're wonderful people and men of honor. I want to sit here and ask you how you can sit there and lie to us. Everybody knows we've lost this war. No one here is questioning your your honor and your 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 word, uh, General. I just want to make that clear. Same goes for you, Mr. Ambassador. Just because the two of you are lying, it's clear that the Bush White House has put you up to this. Now, I'm not saying that I want us to lose in Iraq. Nobody here is saying that. All we're saying is that we don't want us to win, and we don't want to tie. You can draw your own conclusions as to where that leaves you, but I don't see how people are saying that we want to lose. I don't have any questions in so far as questions that you can answer because I've already made up my mind before you give me the answers to any questions I might have. I don't want to say that I don't believe you, but I don't believe you. And that's not to say you're lying. I think that you are not telling the truth. There's a difference, and I think it's the White House's fault. If I had a question, I would ask it of you and then allow you to answer, but Move On has not provided me with questions. Therefore, I just have this statement that says that you're about to betray us. And I don't think you should betray us. But I'm not judging you. I won't judge you. No, I won't judge you. And I don't want to prejudge anything. That's just not how I do things. But I know you're going to lie to me. But it's not going to be your fault. You're a man of honor. You're a man of your word. You're a man of distinction. You served your country proudly. Except in this horrible, horrible, illegal, immoral war where I support the church 100%. Thank you. I don't want to you know, disparage your honor or your dignity or nothing like that, but uh, you're a liar for the White House. You're an enabler, and I think that those very attractive cold pink ladies was right, that uh, you're lying and you're a traitor to the country. But I thank you for your service. Support our troops. This message brought to you by MoveOn.org. Are you considering voting for a Democrat next year? Do you support socialized medicine and a bigger welfare state? If you answered yes to any of those questions, I have one more question for you. Why aren't you living that way now? I'm Ralph Finkerberger Burgio, founder of Live Like a Democrat Tax Accountants. Here at Live Like a Democrat Tax Accountants, we'll do your taxes as if it's 2009 and the Democrats have swept all houses of government. For no extra fee, we will do your taxes without any deductions, raising your effective tax rate the more than 50% it will have to be if the Democrats, in fact, take over government. You can live tomorrow's lifestyle today. How do we do it? We don't actually tax you more because that would be illegal. But since you're so inclined to have everybody pay higher taxes for the greater good, we'll just skip the deductions. No credit for mortgage, education loans, nothing. We'll tax you so high that you'll be living in the poorhouse in no time. So why wait for the election to live the life of your dreams? Come in to live like a Democrat tax accountant's office and start living your socialist dream today. Note, liberals with all their money sheltered in trust funds and offshore accounts like the Kennedy clan will need to defund those trusts and bring that money back in order to live the way that they would like to impose on others. We aren't holding our breath. Don't give me that too good, good bullshit.